Hello, good day. My name is Richelle Ichivaria Bugtay. I belong to Miss Jenny Luca Pino's Tariff Management 325C class. So, in compliance with our assignment, I am here right now presenting my solutions on how I came up with my answers to the said activity. So, our topic is all about CMO 22-2007, Dutiable Insurance and Freight. So, question number one. Uzumaki Naruto Corporation imported steels with an FOB value of $30,000. How much is the dutiable insurance? So, ang akong answer kay $600. Why? Because ang gi-import kay steel. And steel kay kuan man na, general cargo. So, we need to use 2%, not 4%. Kay dili man na dangerous cargo ang steel, right? So, just multiply sa FOB, $30,000 times 0 0.02 kay 2% equals dutiable insurance of $600. Number 2, Sasuke Transport imported tires which arrived at the port of Zambonga with a CFR value of $25,000. The representative presented a commercial invoice indicating the following expenses. Freight at $5,000 and insurance at $500. How much is the dutiable insurance? So my answer is $500 since it is already indicated. Uh, declared na siya sa invoice. Kunoha Sports imported forehead protectors which arrive at the port of Surigao with a CFR value of $30,000. A local insurance worth 50,000 pesos was provided. How much is the dutiable insurance if the freight is $5,000 and the rate of exchange is 40 pesos? It states here nga if the importer provides local or domestic insurance but no certification or official receipt, the dutiable insurance shall be whichever is higher between the amount of local or domestic insurance and 2% or 4% of the FOB or FCA value. So, muna nga, dili mag whichever is higher ta. And since ang given dili kay CFR si man, so, dili man siya FOB or FCA, no? So, kailangan na to makita pa na, kuhaon pa na to ang FOB. So, manang CFR, which is $30,000, minus or less the freight, which is $5,000. So, naatay, FOB nga, $25,000. So, ang atong multiply na to sa insurance rate na to, which is 2% ra kay forehead protector man siya, dili man siya dangerous cargo. So, manang ang atong answer, kay $500. So, versus local or domestic insurance, 50,000 pesos given ni siya, divided by sa atong rate of exchange, which is 40 pesos. So, ang atong answer kay $1,250. So, whichever is higher, i-compare ni mo ang 500 o ang 1,250. So, klaro kayo nga, kani ang mas dako ang higher. So, mo nang answer na ko kay Dutiable ins Insurance 1,250. Next problem kay Konoha Sports Imported Forehead Protectors which arrived at the port of Surigao with a CFR value of $30,000. A local insurance worth 50,000 pesos was provided together with the certificate and official receipt. How much is the dutiable insurance if the freight is $5,000 and the rate of exchange is 40 pesos? So, atong solution diri kay kani ganina kay wala man certification no local insurance pero wala certification but this time nag-provide ang importer og certificate og official receipt. So, ang atong buhaton ana dili ta mag whichever Whichever is higher, but i divide na to siya largo. So, local or domestic insurance, muning 50,000 pesos, rather. So, given ni siya, i divide na to sa atong rate of exchange, kani, which is 40 pesos. So, ang atong answer kay, dutiable insurance of $1,250. Una siya. Timanan, if na provide ba certificate and official receipt or wala. Next problem, we have 
Department of Education imported plastic covers with a CFR value of $20,000. The original GSIS Marine Open policy was presented amounting 18,000 pesos. How much is the dutiable insurance if the rate of exchange is 50 pesos and the freight is $3,000? So, solution, GSIS rate kay 18,000 pesos. Nya, ang atong rate of exchange kay 50. So, i-divide ra na ni mo siya largo. So, mo come up ta sa atong dutiable insurance, which is $360. Okay? Next, another problem. Department of Education imported plastic covers with a CFR value of $25,000. The entry indicated freight charges at $4,000. Dollars and insurance at 400 How much is the dutiable insurance if the rate of exchange is 50? So, tons of rice arrived at the Port of Manila with a total CIP value of $50,000. The representative submitted the bill of lading indicating the freight charges of 4000 on the other hand, after further perusal of the documents submitted, it was found that the freight charges and insurance were indicated in the invoice at $4,500 and 2500 respectively. Now, the question, how much is the dutiable freight? Okay, so... Since sa atong problem, there are freight charges indicated both in the bill of lading and commercial invoice. So, ang atong buhaton dari, the dutiable freight shall be whichever is higher between the freight charges in the bill of lading or invoice. So, mo nang akong solution dari kay freight sa bill of lading, $4,000 versus sa invoice nga $4,500, whichever is higher. So, klaro nga, ang atong dutiable freight is $4,500. Okay, next problem. Minato imported suits with an FOB value of $25,000, which arrived at the subport of Dumaguete. How much is the dutiable freight if the shipment has a gross weight of 2,500 kilograms subject to GCR rate of $0.55 per kilogram? So, kani GCR kay gross conference rate. 4C ni siya, no? So, money, if no freight charges declared on the entry, then kani freight charges shall be based on GCR rate for C. So, money siya for dutiable freight. Akong answer kay 1,375. Nga naman. So, money akong solution. So, the formula, GCR freight is equal to, to total weight in kilograms times GCR rate. So, ang atong total weight in kilograms diri kay 2,500 man kani times sa GCR rate which is 0.55 dollars so, uh, it multiply lang siya diritsyo. So, mukhang mapta sa answer nga $1,375. So, money siya. Okay. Next problem. Nato imported suits with an FOB value of $25,000. The insurance and freight charges indicated in the entry are 400 and 1,000 respectively. Now, how much is the dutiable freight if the shipment has a gross weight of 2,500 kilograms subject to gross conference rate or GCR rate of 0.55 dollars per kilogram? My answer here is 1,000 dollars. Money ang dutiable freight. Why? Kay, since in this problem, duha ang naka-indicate. So, if there are freight charges declared, both entry and GCR rate for C, the dutiable freight shall be whichever is higher between the freight charges on the entry and 70% of GCR. 
So, 70%. So, atong um, formula ani kay GCR is equal to total weight in kilograms times GCR rate times 70.70. Okay? So, moto, 2,500 kilograms kani times $55 kaning GCR rate times 0.70. So, dili yun ni kalimta ng 0.70 kay marong na. Wrong na dayon. So, ang answer, diritsyo rin ang multiply, the answer will be 962.5. Now, versus whichever is higher ni siya sa kanang freight nga naka-indicate sa SAD, which is 1,000. Kani, 1,000 dollars. So, klaro kayo nga mas dako kay 1,000 dollars nga naka-indicate sa SAD. So, Munang ang jutable freight is $1,000. So, for the next problem, a shipment of 2 by 40 STC frozen tuna from Hong Kong arrived in Port of Cebu. Its CFR value is $55,000. The question, how much is the jutable freight if the insurance is $1,500 and the freight indicated in the bill of lading is $3,100 supported with a certification from the shipping lines? So, ang ahong answer dire kay $3,100. So, wala na ko nag-compute sa refer rates tungod kay supported with a certification naman siya from the shipping line. So, if na ay certification, ang um, bill of lading, automatic na na. So, no need to compute refer rates. So, muna siya. For money siya, frozen tuna, kanang for rep refrigerated shipments, the jutable freight unta kay shall be whichever is higher between the freight charges indicated in the bill of lading. So, if no certification from shipping lines and the refer rates. But this time, in this problem, non siya certification. So, diritso na. So, for others nga wala na kay Bao, uh, refer container. Unsa man ang refer container? Nga nung naman siya refer rates. E na. So, ang refer container, it is a short form for refrigerated container. So, these are containers that are used to transport temperature controlled cargo such as fruits, um, meat, fish, seafood, vegetables, dairy, and also non-food products. Pwede po, dili kay, tungod kay non-food. So, pwede po non-food products such as flowers, pharmaceuticals, and film across many oceans. So, moto siya. No, so gikan siya Hong Kong but since kuan man siya na certification so no need na diretso na siya. So ang aton jutable freight is $3,100. Okay. Next problem. A shipment of 2 by 40 STC frozen tuna from Hong Kong arrived in Port of Cebu. Its CFR value is $55,000. How much is the jutable freight if the insurance is $1,500 and the freight indicated in the bill of lading is $3,100? So, this time, what na siya yung sumpay na, what na siya yung certificate. So, morning, kaninga time, ato siyang i, whichever is higher, dapat i-compare. So, my answer here is $3,200. Clearly, because mas higher siya, but ato saan tanahon. So, for my solution, ang freight there is na naka-indicate sa bill of lading kay $3,100. Kani. Nya, ang refer rate kay, kuan man siya, from Hong Kong. So, nya, kuan man siya, 40-footer nga van. Muna siyang ang kuan, $1,600. So, times 2 kay since duha man ka van na 2 by 40. So, muna, duha ka van. So, 1,6 times 2 is equal to $3,200. Muna siyang answer kay, ang jutable freight kay $3,200. Alright. So, next problem. So, Sakura Flower Shop has an importation of 3 by 20 STC assorted plastic pots with a CFR value of $54,000. 
which arrived at the port of Zamboanga from port of Guangzhou. Bill of lading indicated freight charges at $4,000. Now, how much is the dutiable freight if the insurance is $1,000? So, dire kay gikan siya sa port of Guangzhou. Guangzhou. I think China na siya, no? So, port of Guangzhou, China. So, dapat di ay mukwalify na siya ng refer rates if ang origin niya, ang port of origin kay Guangzhou, China, Xiamen, China, Shanghai, China, Dalian, China, Hong Kong, Singapore, o Los Angeles, USA. Aside at to niya kay, di siya mukwalify. So, gikan man siya o port of Guangzhou, China, so, need na to siya i-compare. And then, Napod, walang po siya certification. So, manong mag whichever is higher dyan ta. So, for the refer rate, ang rate sa port, if ang port origin kay gikan sa China, Guangzhou, China, niya, 20 footer man na siya, no? So, 1-3. 1-3 niya. Times 3 kay tulo man siya ka van na 3 by 20. So, 1-3 times 3 is equals to $3,900. So, versus siya sa naka-indicate sa bill of lading na to nga freight, which is $4,000. So, mas tako jud ang, clearly, mas tako jud ang $4,000 na naka-indicate sa bill of lading. So, dapat yun na ni mong tanawo no, kung makuan ba siya sa refer rates kay marong na ka. May tag, higher jud per me ang naka-indicate kay okay ra, di ka marong. So, next problem. National Food Authority imported rice sacks with FOB value of $20,000. How much is the dutiable freight if the local insurance premium is 30,500 pesos while the freight in the bill of lading is $2,200? So, ang atong rate of exchange at this time kay 50 pesos. So, my answer here is $2,220. Nga naman. So, nga nung nagkuan po ko nag-compare. So, my solution, di ba, kuan? Nabalik pa yun. So, for my solution, kani nga problem kay, kuan man ni, NFA. So, for bulk or general cargo shipments made by the National Food Authority or sa NFA, which is kani, the dutiable freight shall be whichever is higher between the freight charges indicated in the bill of lading or invoice and 10% of the CFR value of the commodity. So, muna nga nag-compare tano. So, muna ni ang atong freight nga naka-indicate sa atong bill of lading, which is 2,200. Now, Ang sa atong ika-compare, which is the 10% of the CFR value of the commodity, kuan man ang given, FOB man, so tang -ta pangitaon sa nato ang FCFR no, sa ato sang convert. So muna, to get the CFR, i-add na nato siya ang freight. So FOB, $20,000 plus sa freight na naka-indicate, given na to, which is $2,200. So, natay si FR value nga 22,200. So, muna ni, ang atong formula kay 10% freight is equal to CFR muna times 0.10 para makuha na ito atong freight nga 2,220. So, i-compare da yun na ito, whichever is higher da yun na ning duha. So, clearly, mas dako ang 2,220. So, manang answer na to kay dutiable freight of 2,220. Okay? Next problem. Pit na tamo man, guys. Chunay Trading imported 20 cartoons of medicine kits with FCA value of $30,000. Insurance and freight charges were indicated in the entry as follows. $600 and $895. Now, each carton weighs 5 kilograms and measures 0.3 meter times 0.5 meter times 0.3 meter. How much is the dutiable freight if the IATA rate is $8.50 per kilogram? 
So, kanino? Iyata na tano? Since there are free charges declared both on the entry and iyata rate for air, the dutiable freight shall be whichever is higher between the freight charges on the entry and 70% of iyata rate. So, hindi jud kalimta ng 70%, kaya morong na jud gihapon. Muna siya nga nag-versus ta din, nag whichever is higher ta, no? So, unahon sa nina to, kaya mo muna yung masayon. So, freight nga naka-indicate sa bill of lading, $895 kani. And then, sa usa, kay mo niya ang formula, no? Ayata freight is equal to total chargeable weight in kilograms times ayata rate times 0.70. Hindi d'yo nakalimtan. So, giyon sa mani, unsa mo na ito pagkuhaan yung total chargeable weight in kilograms. So, muna siya. Ang chargeable weight kay actual weight in kilograms versus volume weight in kilograms gihapon. So, whichever is higher, gihapon na sila, no? So, unsa mo na chargeable weight? Chargeable weight is higher weight in kilograms between the actual weight and volume weight. It is primarily used as a component in the computation of ayata air freight and storage charges at import. So, muna siya. In order to compute the chargeable weight, compute first na to ang actual weight o volume weight of the air cargoes. So, muna ni nga, mukompute sa ta, muna ni nasa dirigamay. Actual weight kay 20 cartons times 5 kilograms kay each carton weighs 5 kilograms man. So, naatay 100 kilograms. Now, i-compute na po na to ang volume weight kay i-kuan man sila, whichever is higher. So, volume weight, since atong given dari kay meter man, so, ang formula kay kuan man ang formula, m times m times m over 0.006 times number of boxes, cartoons, or crates. No? So, at, sa kanina atong problem, kay kuan man eh, cartoon. So, 0.3 times 0.5 times 0.3 times 0.3, 0.5 times 0.3 divided by 0.006, so naatay 7.5. Times na to, i-bring down ni na to dari, ang 20, kay cartoons man eh, times 20, so naatay, 7.5 times 20 cartoons kay 150. So, 100 kilograms, i-compare ni mo sa 150, so, atong chargeable weight kay 150 mo, nani siya nga na dire. Times, 8.50 dollars, kay mo man eh ang rate, ayata rate, per kilogram, and then ang, 0.70, di nakalimtan, kay mo wrong na jud gihapon. So, ang atong answer kay, 892.5 dollars. So, i-compare na to sa naka-indicate sa atong bill of lading. So, 895, mas dako ang naka-indicate sa bill of lading. Muna ang atong dutiable freight is, 895 dollars. Okay? So, next problem. Next problem na ta, guys. Konoha Trading imported headgears that arrived at Naiya with CIP value of $25,000. How much is the freight if the insurance is 2% of the FCA and the freight is 20% of the FCA? So, ang ato orang given kay CIP value rano? So, Pangitaon ang, si pangitaon, freight. How much is the freight if the insurance? So, pangitaon, ang pangitaon kay ang freight. So, kung saan mo ito po pangita sa freight, so money, CIP, ano ni come up ang tag 1.22. Kuan man, ang 1 man na ang FCA 1 plus ang insurance kay 2%, so 0.02. Plus, ang freight na to, nga 20% sa FCA, so man ang 0.20. So, 1 plus 0.02 plus 0.20, kaya ang answer kay 1.22. So, muna, 25,000 divided by 1.22 na atay FCA, makuha na to ay FCA nga, 20,492 dollars. So, 
since nakuha naman to ang FCA, makuha na po na, na to ang insurance, di ba? So, kay headgears man siya, 2%. Mo man itong giadiri, 2%. So, 20,492 times 2% at ang insurance kay 409.84. Kung kuha na po na to ang rate, ang freight, so, FCA, uh, 20,000 $492 times na to sa 20.20 nga kani 20% of the FCA man so mo na siya uh, makuha na to ang 4098.36 mo nang atong dutyable freight kay 4098.36 so we are down to our last problem guys so Ino trading imported plastic flower pots from China with a CIF value of $18,000. The question is, how much is the insurance if the freight is 10% of the FOB? Now, my answer here is $321.43. So, let's see why. Nga no na came up ko ng answer. So, may solution. So, since ang given kay CIF, need pa na to ko ng FOB to find the insurance, right? Now, CIF value of $18,000 divided by, divided by 1.12. Okay, this is mo kaning 1.12. So, FOB plus freight plus insurance. FOB is 1 naman na siya sa whole man. Then, freight kay kaniman 10% of the FOB. So, may tag 0.10. Plus insurance kay 2% since plastic flower pots man ang gi-import. No? Kung man siya, general cargo, dili na siya dangerous cargo. Not dangerous cargo. So, 1 plus 0.10 plus 0 0.02. So, naatay 1.12. I-divide na siya ni mo. Dahil yun, makam up ka sa FOB value nga. 16,071.43 dollars. Now, to find the our dutiable insurance. So, i-times na na siya largo sa 0 0.02. Now, naatay 321.43 dollars. So, mo ang answer kay kani. Mo na ang solution. And that's the end of my presentation, my discussion. So, that's how I came up with my answers. And thank you very much for listening. I hope you learned something from my discussion. And I would also like to thank Miss Jenny Lucapino for the opportunity. Thank you, Dili Shalalim, but I enjoyed it. Thank you, Mom, and I think that's it. God bless us all. Bye!